Hello everyone, welcome to vinyl2tunnel.com. Today we'll be discussing about the capacity plan and I'm sure many of you must have seen it on board your ships. Capacity plan is a very important plan and gives us a lot of information which uh, most of us are unaware of. Also, this plan belongs to a bulk carrier having five cargo holds. So for your ease, I have divided this plan into four different parts. The first part is the principal particulars which are mentioned on top of the plan. The second is a general layout of the vessel which indicates the various compartments such as the cargo compartment, the tanks, tanks for general service and uh, sewage, slop tanks, fresh water tanks. So you would be fanning it over here. This plan is made to the scale. Also there is a table on the right side. This table gives a list of all the compartments, the location, which is also the frame, and the net volume of the compartment, the centers of gravity, and also the pre-surface moment. We'll discuss it in detail. And the last part is the loading scale, also known as the deadweight scale. So I'll tell you how to use this scale. So without wasting time, let's move and see what all information we can achieve from the capacity plan. Starting from the top, we have got the principal dimensions of the vessel. So I will not waste time over here because you know the general layout of the vessel, or what all information you will be getting. So let's scroll quickly and see the information being provided in the location of all the tanks. I'll just scroll it easily for you. Moving to the forward portion of the vessel, you can see the ballast tanks and the cargo hold compartments clearly shown, including the location. Here we have got the transfers view, showing the top side portion of the water ballast tank and also the double bottom portion, that key in the center and the cargo hold. Then the engine room, upper platform, the upper deck, so I will not waste much of the time over here because you know the uh, you know that uh, layout of the whole vessel is provided with the location of the tanks and the compartments. Now one important thing is that a lot of uh, plans have got this uh, transfer section view of uh, the vessel at uh, different different important frames like frame 17 at frame 15, frame 14. So let's say if you imagine you cut the vessel at that particular frame these will be the compartments which you will be seeing so at important frames they have given us the transverse view of the in various compartments let's move on to the table which I was talking about so table describes the description of the various compartments then we have got the location with respect to the frames, the frame at which it starts, the frame at which it ends, or you can say the frame which contains the compartment, the net volume of the compartment, the longitudinal center of gravity, the transverse center of gravity, and the vertical center of gravity of the compartment. So for a start, let's discuss this five cargo holes which are given. I'll just discuss this these two cargo holes for you. It says that the frame, the starting frame, of the number one cargo hold compartment is 193 the frame number 193 so at 193 the aft portion of the number one, car number one cargo hold starts the forward portion the forward limit of number one cargo hold compartment is frame number 229 okay for number two cargo hold the aft limit of the compartment is 151 frame number and the forward limit of the number two cargo hold is 194. Now you will say, how is this possible? So let's quickly go to the view, side view of number one and number two. So if you see this is number one, number two cargo hold, the forward portion, this is the limit. This is the limit of number two cargo hold forward portion and it ends at frame number 194. 
here. Similarly, for number one cargo hold, the aft limit is at frame number 193. Easy to understand. So I hope it makes sense and it is clear to you. Let's go to the ballast tank quickly and see all the ballast tanks. We've got uh, 12 ballast tanks on the ship. And uh, again, it shows the frame min and frame max, which is the location of the frames in which the tank is contained, the net volume, the total volume, the filling ratio is equal to one. Now, what is this filling ratio? Filling ratio means that the compartment has been completely filled. There is no vacant space. That means the compartment has been 100% filled. Moving on, we have got values of LCG, that is longitudinal center of gravity, the transfer center of gravity and vertical center of gravity, and the free surface moment being generated by the compartment. What important with this plan and this information which we are getting is that you can use this LCG basically to carry out trimming of the vessel if you want to uh, put the vessel into a certain trim, you want to achieve a certain uh, draft forward and certain draft aft without adding the weights but just by transferring you can use the LCG values. A lot of softwares today are using the LCG values because these those are much accurate rather than the trimming tables. So if that's what my experience is. If you're using LCGs for trimming, it is much more accurate. Obviously, it depends upon what you're using, but this is one inf information which you can get from here. Also, you can get the total ballast capacity in cubics and total ballast which can be carried by the ship on board, the light ballast, not the heavy weather ballast. Coming onto the heavy fuel oil uh, tanks, number of tanks, again, the location, the filling ratio here is 0.98. That means the capacity which you have taken uh, the, the, the fill capacity which they have taken is 98% of the tank volume. You can pause the video as many as times you like so that if you uh, want to like see the data or confirm the data, you can do it. Similar cooling water tank and miscellaneous tanks. All right, the scale of this plan is 1 is to 250. That means that one unit on this plan, if you measure, equals 250 units actually on the vessel to make it easier for you. If you are measuring 1 mm of length on this plan, in actual, on the ship, it will be equal to 250 mm. I hope uh, you are quite clear with the capacity plan till now. And let's move on to the last part of this plan, which is called the loading scale or the deadweight scale. And let's see how to use this deadweight scale and get the information from it. So let's see how this loading scale or deadweight scale is used and uh, we will also determine that what all information we can obtain quickly using the deadweight scale. So deadweight scale is given and on uh, every capacity plan and uh, from the value of the drafts you can read quickly read the deadweight and the displacement also the values of MCTC and TPCs and uh, Correspondingly, you can see that how much uh, cargo is supposed to be loaded or can be loaded more on the vessel. So we will first just see what is the layout of the loading scale looks like. The first column here is the draft, which is the molded draft, not from the keel. Okay, so it's a molded draft. The second column is a dead weight. The third column is a specific gravity of water starting from 1.025 all the way till fresh water of one. So you can see an increment of point, uh, decrease of 0 0.005 density. So we have got a total of six densities ranging from salt water to fresh water. Fourth column is the displacement. Then fifth column is MCTC values and then TPC values followed by KM and draft below the keel. On the right side, we have got the load line mark, the plimsoll mark of the vessel showing the different load lines including winter, summer, tropical, fresh and tropical fresh. The extreme draft of the vessel, that is the draft from the keel is 13.318. And I will try to show you data which we can obtain on the summer draft. As we can see, corresponding to the Plimsoll mark, we have got a molded draft of 13.3 meters. So let us just zoom it and go to 13.3 meters. As you can see that the first line this line is corresponding to 1.025 followed by different different densities 
of water. So for example, if you want to obtain the dead weight at 1.025, which is a summer dead weight because 13.3 is a summer molded draft of the vessel. So if you want to read the value of the summer dead weight, you can directly read the value from here because this is a line for 1.025. I'll just mark it for you. This is where it is touching and this thing can be read. Okay, so easy till now. Let's say that if you want to read the value of the dead weight and the displacement at 1.005 what we're gonna do so how to read it i don't have a ruler over here but yes i have got these lines which i've already made for the ease of calculation so let's see that we want to calculate the displacement at the density of one that is fresh water so we will proceed on this line and we will see that at which point this line cuts or touches the freshwater density line. So this is the freshwater density line, marking the freshwater density. And this is the line, the summer line, which is cutting the same draft, 13.3, the freshwater line at this point. So what I will do, I'll take up my scale and I will try to draw a line starting from here, parallel to all the density lines and try to touch the line to the 1.025 marking so whatever draft we want to find out we will just draw the line and for whatever density that line is touching we will use our ruler take that point and from there we will draw a line which is parallel to the other density line for this case for your easy understanding I'm using summer draft of 13.3 molded okay so after that when the line touches 1.025 you take your parallel ruler and draw a line parallel to the the above line this red line is very thick if you are doing with a fine pencil you will be able to determine a very accurate uh, value so the initial line which you will be making will be touching the molded draft and the corresponding draft below keel so you can make sure that your line is a straight line and after that this line which you'll be drawing will be parallel to this line so the point where this this line is touching we can read off the value of the displacement so according to this roughly the value is coming somewhere around 73400 and uh, actually if you see at density one our summer displacement is 73392 so this is fairly accurate. So this is how we, we calculate the value of the displacement at a particular draft using different densities. So from the draft, the molded draft on this type of a scale to the draft below keel. So that, that means you will be getting a straight line. In this case, I have already used a line which is 13.3, which is a summer draft. Let's say you want to calculate that how much will be the uh, displacement at a density of fresh water at a fresh water density that is density of one because this displacement initial displacement was calculated at a density of 1.025 so in this case the point where the line is touching we just draw a line which is parallel to the density line and after that we draw a line which is again parallel to the line which you have drawn on the first place this line place where it touches is the displacement in this case is the summer displacement but at a density of one and correspondingly will be your summer dead weight so i hope it is clear to you and that is how we get quickly get the values and other values also you can find out for any queries you can write down in the comment box below and i'll be happy to help thank you so much for watching see you next time